So could Mike Ashley's reign at Newcastle United soon be over? Reports have emerged that the Magpies boss is in talks to sell the club for £350 million to Middle Eastern billionaire Sheikh Khalid bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Bin Zayed Group has said it has agreed terms and hopes to complete the deal at the earliest opportunity. The Sports Direct owner bought the club back in 2007 and put it up for sale in October 2017. Always a divisive figure, talks ended last January with businesswoman Amanda Stavely about a potential takeover and former Man United and Chelsea chief executive Peter Kenyon. Fans have regularly protested against the 54-year-old and his running of the club. So is this news welcome? So I think you have this have this sort of money if you're going to break into the sort of top six or seven. Um, and with the infrastructure that Newcastle have got, it's, I think it's always deserved this sort of. It'll really put them on the map. What do you think of Mike Ashley's uh, time at the club? Um, turbulent, <laughs> turbulent, I would say, to say the least. But went down, obviously, the fans aren't really behind them. So it's time, that's why it's time for a change. You need all the fans behind the club fully. Obviously, you know, locally, it's, it's great, it's great for, for all the locals around here to have someone that wants to invest in the club and Mike Ashley doesn't want to do that. I suppose we've been here before, there have been other potential takeovers. Uh, yeah, that's the other worry, is um, we've been promised a few times that somebody else is going to take over, but it hasn't happened and, uh, well, maybe this time it will. Cross fingers. Um, he's not done justice to the club, or the town, or the fans, or the people of the North East. Uh, so, no, got to go. Newcastle have been so far tight-lipped on the news, but in a statement by the Bin Zayed Group, they've said we view it as an honour to have the opportunity to build on the strong support, history and tradition of the club. Mike Ashley is currently on holiday and awaiting proof that the resources are there to take the club forward. Sophie Halsey in Newcastle.